Hey, Shalom, 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 Israel. Call Halarim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who are taught me this truth and who rule well. Love, respect, and salutations, peace, and blessings to you sincere and hopefully let scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. This is your fellow servant, Mother Kaya, coming in from the GMS Heaven Bay Church. And I want to get into a lesson today going into uh, <clears throat> how the Lord is getting ready to bring straight judgment, straight vengeance, all right, upon uh, the house of uh, Esau. All right, going up to uh, all the way up to the uh, the upper echelons of the of the elites. All right, going into you uh, you Rothschilds. All right, you uh, you Duponts. Okay, you Rockefellers. All right, well, uh, the, what the Morgan family. All right, even have I believe uh, believe the the Bush family is even uh, is up there. All right, that, that, those are prime uh, uh, families. All right, those elite uh, 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 families. All right, that hey, they in control of the, the world. All right, they, they have control of, of, of different uh, uh, avenues, different uh, uh, affairs and things like that. And this is how you see them being set up, all right, on top of the whole world. All right, going into the Federal Reserve, controlling the money, all right, manipulating uh, a currency, all right. Sooner or later, we're going to have a crash, all right, and they're going to push this, uh, uh, this RFID chip, all right, which is the mark of the beast, all right. But with all that being said, all right, all the different things that's, in, in, that's been happening in this earth, all right, is because of these people, all right, their families, all right, time and time and time again, all right. The Lord said He will have uh, what going to uh, He will have war with Amalek from generation to generation, all right. These 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 uh, uh, elites, these uh, uh, top member families, all right. The Lord is coming for you, all right. So we're going to get into some scriptures, all right. So this is the book of uh, I'm going to start from the book of Isaiah. 47, hmm, and start at verse, and this the point in verse 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. All right, so when you see the different things of when you see the, the, the prophets, all right, on the highways and hedges, the digital epistles, this is the, uh, the Lord uncovering, all right, all the different things that you've been doing in this whole earth. All right, going into uh, uh, these other uh, whistleblowers as well. The Lord aid, the Lord is revealing you guys through them, uh, through your own people as well. All right. The scripture goes into how uh, he shall uh, he shall make the uh, tongue fall upon themselves. All right. Just roughly paraphrasing. All right. <clears throat> Reading on verse three it says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. And it's been seen all over the Internet. All right. This is why you see him going into those um, the different censorship. All right. This is what's going on. All right, their, their, their nakedness is being seen right now. And this is why they see, them, uh, they see themselves in being shamed, all right, trying to cover it up. All right, this is why you see this man is moving, all right, at a, a quicker speed, all right, because he knows that his time is short. It says, I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. All right, so the Lord is not going to meet you devils, all right, as a, as a man. All right, he's going to come, all right, in, 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 in a, a, a so-called UFO, all right, spaceship, as, as you know, as the world would say, but it's the chariots of the Most High, all right, coming with a great army, all right, coming to decimate this whole land, all right, your whole system, all right, your, all your families, all y'all are going into chains, all right, all y'all are going into slavery, all right, so let's jump into um, Isaiah 42, all right, it's the book of Isaiah 42. It says, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, shall go forth as a mighty man. All right? Just how I was saying, how he's going to return back. When he says, behold, I come quickly. All right? It's going to come in an instant. All right? To come destroy you. It says, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. All right? So when the Lord comes back, he says he's not going to meet there as a man, and he's coming back to make war. All right? Just, uh, uh, just as I stated earlier, he will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. This is prophecy getting ready to be fulfilled. All right? It's happening right now. You already see it when you see the prophets. All right? Y'all know who the prophets are. Y'all can see through the spirit who, which ones, all right, whom the Lord have called, the one who the Lord has brought up. All right? To call you devils out. All right? It says, he shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. All right? It says, he shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. 
All right, so he's letting you know he's going to surpass all uh, all his enemies. All right, which would be you Duponts, you Rockefellers, you uh, you Rothschild, you know, etc. Your whole family, your whole line. All right, Esau, Edom, man, y'all are going down. All right, it says I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. All right, so the Lord is been, hey, the Lord is chilling right now. All right, but hey, when it's time for the Lord to tell you how to to come make that second coming, oh man, it's on, man, it's on and popping. All right, it says, now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. The scripture goes into, the, and Revelation goes into um, um, uh, uh, saying how the judgment, all right, will come in uh, one hour. All right, the Lord is just going to, it's going to be a swift, it's going to be so swift. You're going to 2 Ezra 13, how they said they behold and wax in a man strong and great, all right, and yet they durst fight. All right, the Lord came and just, man, decimated the armies. And all uh, and all Ezra seen was just a smell of dust, all right, and seen uh, dust and smoke. That's all he's seen, all right? It happened so quick. And he said when he seen it, he was sore afraid. This is what's getting ready to come to you devils, all right? So let's jump to, um, uh, shit, um, I believe it's Isaiah 66. All right, it's the book of Isaiah 66, verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh will come with fire and with chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury. It says, And his rebuke with flames of fire. All right, so when the Yah when, so like when Yahweh Shai comes, all right, he's coming with what? His, uh, 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 his, his ships, all right, his angels. All right, with uh, he coming with great glory, great power. All right, and right along with that, the missiles coming from these other different nations that's getting ready to rise up against you. All right, that's getting ready to come as well. All right, terrorism is getting ready to come upon every side to you devils. All right, it says verse sixteen: For by fire and by his sword. All right, what's the sword? What's the sword? The sword is the ICBM missiles as well. All right, to come destroy you. It says. Will the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh plead with all flesh? And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So when the Lord bring them judgments, man, it's going to be nothing but just all chaos and all uh, uh, screaming and turmoil. And it, it's going to be nothing but just death. You're going to smell death. You're going to see death. You're going to feel death. All right? But the Lord going to keep you alive. All right? You're going to run down. The scriptures go into, uh, though they dig into hell. All right. Hey, the Lord said, though they uh, uh, climb into the, uh, the heights of the heavens, this will I bring thee down. All right. The Lord said he's going to prevail against you and you guys are still going down. No matter what avenue you try to go at, you're going to go down. You're going to try to go out there into the sea. Leviathan is going to come get you. All right. Terror is getting ready to come on every side. All right. You have no choice. You have no chance. All right. The Lord is guiding you towards this, uh, to this, um, uh, 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 this major destruction. Okay? Um, it was one more. Uh, you know, we can close. I didn't want to make the lesson too long, but, you know, this, hey, this, this, that's just the point. All right? Because you devils, man, y'all got to hey, pay for everything that you guys have been doing all right, this whole time. All right? You got us waking up early in the morning. Here it is. I got to be to work in a couple hours. All right? But the Lord got the spirit on me to go ahead and do this lesson. Even though I'm tired, but the, hey, hey, the spirit, hey, the spirit is heavy right now. It's wanting me to go ahead and just, hey, tell you guys, all right, that, hey, y'all ain't got no choice. Y'all going to fall down, okay? Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy 32, and yeah, this is the book of Deuteronomy 32. We're gonna start at verse. Third, we start at verse 39 and go down to the point in 43. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right, so when the Lord get ready to come, it ain't nobody going to be able to save you. All right, you're going to be through at, the, at that point. 
All right, when you see them clouds break open, you see them shits, when you see Yahweh Shai coming, screaming as a man, all right, screaming as a woman in travail, all right, screaming with that roar, that, that roar, all right, that, 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 that mighty cry, all right, that's going to be all that anger built up and he's going to unleash it, all right, on you, all right, so it says, Verse 40, it says, For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and I will reward them that hate me. All right, so the Lord knows that you uh, devils hate him. All right, he knows that the whole, the rest of the world, the, the rest of these other nations, the two thirds, <coughs> so like the two thirds of the nation of Israel. All right, the Lord, hey, the Lord is getting ready to destroy this whole earth. All right, it ain't nothing nobody can do about it. All right, this is his will. All right, the scripture goes into how uh, the wicked is created for the uh, uh, for the for the day of evil. All right, for this day, for that day, all right, when Yahweh Shah comes. All right, roughly paraphrasing, it says, I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh. Going back into what? The ICBM missiles. All right, the sword is getting ready to devour all uh, flesh. All right, let's get that uh, precept in um, um, Second Peter's. All right, because everything is about to be burned up, man. Everything, you know, brothers already know what I'm going to. All right, it's the second. Uh, it's the book of Second Peter's, three, verse ten. It says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night." And the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. All right, so the Lord is going to burn everything up, all right, and leave you devils, all right, for what? For the kingdom. You guys are going to build up the kingdom, all right? Y'all going to go into some harsh slavery, all right? I'm telling you, man, when we get our hands on you, man, we're going to beat. The, man, man, we gonna beat y'all to the fucking ground, man. Y'all ain't gonna have no fucking hope, man. All right, y'all ain't gonna have no hope. Going back into Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 42, it says, "I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with so like, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenge." Uh, so like from the beginning of revengeance upon the enemy. All right, so the Lord, from the, all the stuff from the very beginning, the Lord from the break, all of that, all right, and give it back to you, recompense, all right, double fold, all right. Then when you get into the kingdom, you finna get it even more. Y'all done fucked up, man. Verse 43, it says, Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants, all right, because of all the different things that y'all been doing, Esau, Edom, your whole nation, all right, going into uh, putting us through slavery, all right, getting ready to go for us right now, going to the persecution, all right, slandering us, all right, getting ready to uh, 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 kill uh, some, some of the brethren, all right, because all we doing, all right, is preaching, all right, and, and telling y'all, y'all judgment for all the shit that y'all been doing. Okay, so the Lord's going to bring all that up, all right? Because right now, y'all, tab is running up, all right? The scripture goes into how uh, 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 your sins have reached up into heaven. This is why the Lord got to destroy this place, all right, and give that uh, uh, that, that great recompense back unto you. <clears throat> it says, 43, it says, Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and it will render vengeance to <coughs> Salakia. <coughs> Let me read that again. It says, Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. All right? So the elect, all right, he's going to be merciful unto them, all right, because they're doing the will of the Heavenly Father. All right? We're doing everything that the Lord has been telling us to do. All right? But while you devils out here still causing mischief and and doing child sacrifices and and, and drinking uh, adrenochrome and and what all oh, man it's so much stuff that y'all are doing we don't even know in the but the Lord knows all right but that's why the Lord is getting ready to come bring all this judgment upon you all right the Lord in Amos five and 
and 24, how it goes into let judgment, uh, 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 let judgment reign as, 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 as water. All right, that's the judgment that's getting ready to come upon Babylon the Great. 200 million missiles getting ready to touch down on this place. All right, people that's on over here in this land, y'all are through. All right, but for you elites, going back to y'all, the Lord said he will not meet thee as a man. All right, he's coming to destroy you, your whole family. All right, but guess what? Y'all are going into chains. All right, y'all are going to serve. All right, y'all are going to serve us. All right, and that's what we're waiting on for the kingdom. All right, and guess what? When we're in the kingdom, we're going to put that man, we're going to put it on y'all, man. Y'all ain't going to have no, man, y'all ain't going to have no choice. All right, y'all going to wish that y'all can die, but guess what? You're gonna be re you're gonna be reincarnated coming back. You're gonna be through out here, man. Y'all ain't got no hope, man. Hey, but the only hope that's getting ready to come is going towards the elect. All right, the faithful servants of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh All right, so hey, no, no one of this lesson was edifying. All right, to Akim and Aquatium. All right, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings to you sincere and hopefully let scattered abroad. It's your fellow servant Malachi. Shalom.